Albania. Distinguished hosts and guests, I'm honored to once again address this summit, reaffirming our commitment to the core principles of democracy, the driving force that propels progress. At the inaugural Summit for Democracy, Albania stood on the brink of assuming its non-permanent seat at the UN Security Council. We have fulfilled this responsibility with great success, contributing to multilateral efforts for peace and stability in an ever-challenging global landscape. We have become among the most ardent advocates supporting the Ukrainian people's quest for sovereignty within the UNCC and other political engagements. And this dedication culminated in the successful co-hosting of the Ukraine Southeast Europe Summit alongside President Zelensky. As we collectively navigate these challenges, we stand in firm alignment with our democratic partners, such as the US, the EU and NATO. The recent establishment of the NATO air base in the Albanian city of Kuchova marks a significant step towards enhancing regional security, once again emphasizing Albanians' added value within the strategic alliance. Zooming into our national endeavors, we have diligently implemented an unprecedented justice reform that positions Albania as a regional front-runner in establishing an entirely independent judiciary. Building on this success and on this pivotal juncture in Albania's transformation process, we aim to embark on a reform journey to further solidify good governance, rule of law and anti-corruption with a view to ensure irreversibility of our progress and advance with an accelerated pace towards EU accession. In parallel, through initiatives such as streamlining online public services, piloting AI in legislative alignment, and establishing innovation nuclei within the government, Albania is on the path to becoming a technology and innovation hub in the Western Balkans. We are increasingly investing in developing digital skills and fostering support for young tech entrepreneurs. At the same time, as we work to increase participation in democratic processes, included in that of women, we are intensifying our vigilance in countering the threats of disinformation in the digital era. For the formerly most isolated country in Europe to have come this far, with ambitions reaching even further, we take great pride in our achievements. Our journey serves as a reminder that there are no obstacles too great to make us invincible in our progress. The responsibility to safeguard this progress rests upon us, and we are confident that our joint actions with like-minded international partners will lay the groundwork for a more robust democratic future for this and future generations to come. Thank you all.